Hello guys and welcome back and today I want to talk about Synology Chat. Now Synology's chat application is something I've talked about on the channel several times in the past. One of the main reasons I talk about it is no matter how many times I talk about network attached storage, there's no denying that as much as home users are going to use it, business users can do so much more. And if you are a small business or you work for a company that uses a lot of third-party applications, you know, Microsoft Word and Skype and all those different tools around your business. One of the main reasons that people like Synology now is, is their heavy investment in first-party apps. Slowly but surely, they've been replacing a number of key applications that we use in business environments, from surveillance to backups and more, and adding them to their own roster of applications. What this means in real terms is, when you're using a number of these apps right now that aren't on the NAS, they are using cloud servers and often a lot of your data is being shared without you knowing or your data lives very, very far away and you don't know where it lives. So when you do buy a NAS, buying a NAS is about having all your data in-house. Whether it's home or business, it's about having all of your data and communication in-house. So there's alternatives to Microsoft Office and Google Docs with the Synology Office application. There's alternatives to Acronis and other backup tools with Active Backup. Alternatives to Dropbox and its one port access point using Drive. And today I want to talk about the alternative to Skype and maybe even WhatsApp, and that is Synology Chat. This is their internal messaging system that can be used for all your different users on the NAS to communicate. What that means is, all the people in your office, be it via their own work terminals or via their mobile phones over the internet or the network, or even guest people who you give access to, are able to talk to one another in one big chat area that is in-house. So what I'm doing for the course of today's video is I've already done overviews of Synology's chat application before. So what I'm going to show you guys is just how easy it is to conduct a conversation as well as going through a number of the options in the chat window. I've got several NASs set up here, but I'm going to be using the 2419 Plus for this video. Uh, but Synology chat is available in a number of different applications. In fact, uh, the DS419 Slim, which I'm currently reviewing for the channel, has got a very low-end 1.3 gigahertz Marvel 32-bit CPU, and that supports chat too. So Synology chat is available on the majority of Synology NAS devices, but do check in advance. So once you've installed the chat application, which is very straightforward, and do check out my other videos on how to install apps, you just literally go to the package center. And if you've ever used a mobile phone and installed an app there, you know how to do it. But you have to make sure, in order for the conversation to be possible between all your users, you have to give all your users the ability to access the NAS. So what that means is, is to create users and groups. I'm gonna skip over this a bit, but uh, do check out my videos on how to create user groups, but it really, I've created a bunch of users here called admin one, two, three, four, oh, um, four. If we wanted to create a new one, we could just call them admin five, give them a low end password, but you can give them their own bespoke login to the NAS. You can add things like emails and more. You can then decide their privilege level. So we're gonna say this person has got full access, but we can say not. We can also say what folders they can access on the NAS. And remember, you can still set up guest accounts for people to use the chat uh, login. All you have to do is make sure they know where the NAS lives on the network. So again, this user here, it's very, very straightforward. We're giving them access to all the apps, but we don't have to. And then when you do want that user to access the NAS, or in this case, admin5, who we've just created here, all you need to do is that user, and we'll log out from this machine now, all that user has to do is go to the NAS's IP network address, or if you've created a mapped network drive, that'll be another option for you there, but get them to just log into the NAS like any other user, enter their login credentials that we've just created. So in the case of this device, it was admin5. And now this user has access to the NAS. And that's what I mean about having multiple users having access to the NAS all at once. So moving forward from this point, let's talk about chat itself. So if we minimize this, right now in the background here, I've got admins one, two, three, and four all logged into the NAS. 
Now it's worth bearing in mind that of course, when you're using chat for yourself, you will have a full window. What I'm showing you here is just four separate browser windows that allows me on one screen to be able to show you four people chatting at once. The top left, top right is using an incognito window, bottom left is Internet Explorer, and the bottom right is the client application for Windows. It is also available for Mac, and as mentioned, for mobile phone devices as well. So say admin one at the top left here, we want to start a conversation. I've already had a bit of a practice beforehand, but let's start a new conversation here. And we're going to call this one admin test. And then we're going to invite other users. And there's all the other users that are currently connected to the NAS. So we're going to add admins two, three, four, and five, like the ones from earlier. We click create. And now all of those users have now got admin test added to their list of available conversations. Now, if you've set up push notifications or the mobile phone application, messages sent here will be pushed and notified to all the individual users. So, and remember, all of this conversation is kept internally within the NAS. So if I put, let's keep it retro. What's up? Why not? You can send that message and then all the connected users have now got a notification there and a little pop-up showing this conversation is happening. And remember, this is all within the NAS, the IP network there. This isn't using a third-party cloud or something like WhatsApp or Skype where the messages are bounced from a server. This is all kept in-house. Now, from here, we can do all kinds of things. We can add pictures. We can set up meetings. We can synchronize. with. Uh, we can create votes. We can create conversations. We can do all kinds of things, and also, if links are shared within the chat conversation, they can all be um, recalled here. On top of that, files shared within this window. So if we drag and drop a file into this window now, I don't know what this word, this file is here. It could be a surprise. Let's find out. We can drag and drop this file into the conversation. It's a picture of Santa, I believe. That was from one of my Plex videos. Click upload, and now all the users have received that file. Likewise, this user can also delete the file and remove the file if they so choose, or download a localized copy. If we move away from that side panel there, we can look at other options such as adding extra people. And remember, guests can be added. Settings for the entire conversation can be controlled. And if all users have admin control, they can change notification noises and how and where people get notifications. So again, you can keep a backlog, keep the entire conversation going. And if you are a business owner that cares about communication between your staff, this can be hugely advantageous to you. So within this window, there are other things you can do. If we go to the client application here, you may notice if you compare the top left one here in Chrome and the bottom right one here as the client application you can download for free for Windows and Mac, there are other options available to you on the client app. With here, there's obviously the usual things like emojis and things like GIFs can run as well. There's lots of different options there just to keep things nice and spirited and easy. And you can flick between multiple conversations at once. Now, if you've got the mobile phone application, remember this conversation doesn't have to stay within your network. Thanks to the Quick Connect service from Synology, you can also conduct this conversation onto mobile phone devices with connected users in-house. So I'll put in-house there that will now appear on everyone's conversation. One person is typing, and there you go. It all appears. So it's exactly like a number of chat applications that we've used in the past. Now, let's see what more we can do. Let's bring this conversation here to the top so we can look at some of the options in the primary Synology chat window. Well, obviously, uh, as the main starter of the chat, you can remove people as you see fit. On top of that, there's notifications that you can turn on and off. And if you want to flick between different applications that are connected with chat, that option is available here. On top of that, you can set up a task list of things that need to be done, and you can have shared task lists for other connected users. At the top, we can see the main menu connected to Synology Chat, where you can change everything on your own individual settings. Adding photos here will mean that the other users can see your photos and you can add email notifications for push and more. There's more um, settings that you would expect and calendar in integration means that a group calendar that is visible by all users on the Synology NAS 
if you are using one of the applications Synology Calendar, which I've installed here, it means that in this window, on this calendar, which shows all the connected users' diaries, if they so choose, you can add stuff to that diary here that other users will see and do group addings using the chat application. In case the rather easygoing simple theme is a little lull for you, you can add extra themes as well. Now, Synology Chat, as far as I'm concerned, is one of the biggest applications for business users that gets overlooked time and time again because connecting your staff, and not just staff, but family members too, is important, but so is security. And that's why it's such a big deal when a NAS brand produces an application like this to let connected users in the business talk. And remember, things like surveillance and more are happening in a NAS in real time means that communication has to be secure as well as safe, reliable, and easy. If we look at the Synology Chat application for desktop, a lot of the options are near enough identical, although there are extra options available to you. Integration means how you want to connect the Synology Chat application with pre-existing um, apps and systems in your environment, so you're able to add different features and little add-ons that they've been adding to Synology Chat for a great deal of time. On top of that, if we move over, we can say that we're away, away, you know, AFK or not there at all. And lastly, you've got Archive Viewer that allows you to be able to see the past conversations. Finally, of course, you can log out in case it's a shared terminal and boom, you're gone. And if we want to log in as a guest, that's an option too. I'm not 100% certain if I've enabled the option to log in as a guest on this, but let's give it a go. If we go into here... And we can log into this conversation as a, a, a guest, an unknown. And then these users can connect them through there. I haven't seemingly enabled that feature, but no worries. But this has been Synology Chat, available for Synology NAS. I hope you enjoyed this. I'm looking forward to see how this compares with some of the other applications. And with more and more updates coming out in DSM 7.0, I'm really looking forward to seeing what more is going to happen within chat. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to click like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.